In the wake of two scandals at Michigan State University, there's been no shortage of outrage from students and faculty toward the Board of Trustees and toward John Engler, who they chose as interim president. As our Jason Colthorpe reports today, they all found themselves on the same stage for graduation. Graduation day at MSU marred by high winds, but not protests. The overwhelming feeling from students is what you'd expect. Relief. It's been a long four years. <laughs> Inside the Breslin Center, the traditional messages on the caps remained just that. The obligatory pictures in front of Sparty for graduates and their parents. And despite what has unfolded on campus this year, many will take pride in not losing sight of what they've worked for over the last few years to get to today. Just very happy to finally close this chapter and move on to the next one. I think from a parent's perspective, it's a milestone. And then you've got tremendous goals to look forward to after. Still, many students clearly chose not to attend. I think a lot of people aren't going to, personally. And From what I've heard, through the grapevine, that I, uh, well, I just don't think they're very happy with the nomination of Engler for interim president, but they're working on a new one, so. That includes now Dr. Bonnie McGill, who tweeted an open letter to the interim president and the trustees. She told me she wasn't about to shake their hands because of the Nasser scandal. But these graduates weren't going to let that take away from their day. I still have pride in MSU. I think um, the name has been tainted, unfortunately, but um, it's, I think it's a legacy that will continue. And if you are wondering when John Engler was introduced today, he was met with light applause and when he spoke, there were no outbursts at any time. Guys.